out and then uh, oops oh is it broken Sagare, 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 sagari oro. Come on, come on, come on, dai oja. Yeah, back again in my channel. So today I back again with my one of Soul of Jogokin collections, which is the dai oja. Yeah, this one is GX61 from the Soul of Jogokin, and I've been having this for a while. But uh, frankly speaking, after I purchased this, I haven't played this uh, too much and I just check and uh, put in my collections. So today, especially, I want to do unbox of this thing and then try to uncheck uh, and then try to play with this a bit because I think from the color point of view, this Dioja is really reflecting the old classic anime robot and the color or combinations of red and blue it's really nice so uh without any further wait let's take a look a little bit closer how does it likes from the box art so we have the ace rate in here and then we have this one is aoida aoida okay and then the last one is the Cobalta if I pronounce it correctly so yeah this is this reminds me of the classic combinations where they are doing the formations and then combine and we can see some of the weapons of this Dioja oh this one is nice it reminds me of Raiden and this one is reminds me of the Zambo tree yeah this really nice and I think it reminds me of some kind of samurai robot which it has the flag of which represents which clan they are from and we can take a look we have also stun and shield okay it's really nice so without any further wait let's take a look uh, this is the side of the box and this one is uh, basically the top of the box and let's uh, check what is inside okay let me change my camera positions a bit and let's see okay i think i already opened this uh, from this side uh, previously so let's see what's inside the box Ooh, i cannot wait to see this it's been a while, I think. It's almost uh, one or two years since last time I purchased this. I purchased the Oja in the beginning of when I'm collecting the SOC and one of the my favorite robot. And also, uh, I think this robot is uh, not easy to get at that time, so I really excited when I get this. Okay, so you can see it's still nicely inside the box. I just opened this uh, for check uh, previously. Uh, let me uh, put in a good uh, positions, a bit like this. And uh, let's take a look a bit from the main robot. This one is the red one. Let's see. I'm gonna take this out from the box. I'm gonna fold it like this. So this one is the first one 
so uh, basically uh, what I feel from this robot is uh, the weight this is not too heavy and then it's much more into a plastic what I feel so I'm gonna put this aside first for this robot okay so it's a little bit hard I'm gonna uh, put it like here over here and then I'm gonna uh, show you uh, the second one of the robot okay so this is the second robot let me put this aside first okay so this is the second robot okay I'm gonna put it somewhere and then I'm gonna show you the third one okay so this one is the third one which I think this will become the base of the feet of the robot a little bit I don't know some kind of stain oily stain is over here but I think it's in overall it's still okay uh, I hope I a little bit worry about the blue part of this uh, Chogokin because blue part usually is a little bit weak uh, compared to the other color but I gotta put this over here first to show you guys uh, overall of this Oja. Okay, so uh, there's several uh, items I'm gonna show you guys later on, like some weapons of here and there, and uh, some kind of sword and the shield. So I'm gonna back when I put this box away. Okay, so now I already line up the three robots over there, and before we try to combine, this uh, three robot let's uh, take a look what kind of accessories they uh, give us inside so it's kind of quite accessories including I quite amazed how big is this bow let's uh, take a look it's even uh, bigger than the palm of the hands and let's see replacement hands some kind of shields and uh, I'm gonna check later on but uh, they also have uh, individual weapons in here so uh, let's take a look at this uh, later okay so uh, first of all before we try to combine this one let's take a look uh, like always the manual book of the Dioja uh, I hope the transformation is not too difficult but it's uh, kind of thrilling to uh, transform this so uh, the story of the Dioja and I think the the weapon for each mecha. So we can see this one is having the sword, this one is having some kind of gun and also the spears. Then Dioja itself uh, with the concept of the weapon and oh is it can transform become the some kind of space spaceship? but i don't think so let's uh check later on oh oh yeah it can transform so uh, let's take a look okay the transformations of the three robot how it's combined but how to transform to the ship i don't think they have the explanation so this is how to transform each of them become the Oja okay and accessories okay so without any further ado i'm gonna put this accessories a little bit moving this uh to the other side and let's focus on this uh, three robot okay let's take a look about the first one so the red one is actually i think the main robot uh, I watched Dioja before but it's a kind of long time ago and I still remember the story is about one prince and the two guardian uh, from that kingdom 
that uh, travel around the space uh, just to check and fight the uh, bad guys so yeah this is the main robot for the main robot itself for me i think this i this is a uh, quite light compared to the others this one is a little bit heavy and i think this one is the most uh the heaviest among these three okay one thing that i noticed for this uh dioja when they stand it's not too too stable uh from my point of view uh this one is actually pretty uh, stable uh, because the base is flat uh, flat but i don't know mine is has a little bit loose on the right feet but if you can uh, properly uh, lengthen the feet it can stand a uh, proper okay so a uh, samurai look uh, this is the behind it's a uh, kind of nice and each of them is has having the weapon so i will make the weapons later on so this is how it looks uh, this is the second one okay so each of them has the a spade logo so this is the second one a nice blue red and yellow combinations and also the leg and so this is what i'm uh, telling you guys that it's not a stable so let me show you it's keep falling to the front uh, i still don't know uh, how to make it this stand a more uh, stable because the bottom of the feet this will where the hands of the oja will sh showing up later on so it's kind of not stable oh okay one of the tips is just need to push this hands a little bit inside and i think it can be a stand uh, better but it's not solved entirely okay so you can see a little bit have difficulties to stand that and uh, this is the third robot it looks it reminds me of some kind of the soldier from a game i forget what game is that is that but this is how it looks and i think this one will become the base of the dioja and this one i pretty uh, concerned about this fit because this blue kind of a uh, plastic usually broken easily uh, for the soul of Chogokin, but I hope this one is okay. So, without any further wait, let's try to combine these three robots. Okay, first of all, let's try to do from this red one. I think uh, first thing that we need to do is we need to take out this backpack. We're gonna put aside, and then we can see this kind of helmets already there. So, uh, next step is i think we need to put these hands inside so we can just uh, push it like that and we can hear some kind of nice uh, clicking sound okay like that so it's already uh, get in and next is we need to make it shorter like this we need to push so then uh, the next step is we need to open this leg a cover behind and then we need to push this inside I just feel that this red one is mainly a made from the plastic so I uh, kinda really worry and uh, please be careful if you guys do this is you have this one please uh, very uh, careful when you do transformations and I think it's better uh, for this kind of uh, plastic uh, toys to be out uh, from the box because otherwise it will uh, be broken in the, inside the package and okay so I already make this one a little bit shorter and then uh, what we need to do next I think we should open this area but it's uh, kind of hard to open let me check the other side okay it's open and what should we do so we should uh, put this inside uh, there is uh, some kind of 
uh, mechanism uh, to put this inside like that and uh, facing this up okay so we need to do that and uh, I think we need we should uh, put this back should we put this back or just uh, let this let this open okay for a while I gonna uh, just uh, let that open and I trying to do for the other side the other side is a little bit hard uh, to take out so I need to be uh, uh, careful because this stuff is made from plastic okay let me uh, take a look about this one and uh, back again okay I already successfully opened this using some kind of toothpicks and I gonna do the same way of hands I gonna put that inside and uh, next one is this head cover area I think we need to make this up like that and we need to make it some kind of shoulder pad of this one all this joint is made from plastic so it's really concerning that we need to be really uh, careful when to do this it's really uh, not made uh, for children i think because uh afraid that it's go going to broken uh, easily uh, when they do the transformations so even for me when i transform this i'm a little bit worried uh, because this kind of join is very delicate so ne really need to uh, pay attention and we need to uh, press or giving pressures into the right uh, spot i think for this one for example if you put this push this down it may give a pressure to this this uh, join and this join so i prefer to press this aside okay so this one what it looks like after we do the transformations and after that what we need to do is okay so we can we need to make this uh, part up like this so the lower body part of this red one will uh, become to the behind will come to the behind and it's going to looks like this okay so next what we need to do is we need to uh, take out this logo and actually it's already done accidentally uh, previously if you remember it's a spade a spade logo but we need to take this out and then we need to rotate this like this become the three spade combining and then you need to uh, put this back to the chest area so it's going to look like this okay so let's put this uh, first and then uh, let's do the second transformations of the the second robot like usual we need to take off this uh, backpack but how to take this off is it some kind of joints I need to check it first okay so that's kind of join I let me uh, try to wiggle this uh, because the left side is uh, kind of hard to take this out I afraid that if we put too much uh, power it will be broken so I already successfully take this out and yeah this is what we need to do next okay so we need to take this cover and then we need to put this hands inside just like the first robot we need to put this hands inside the arm oh, it's a little bit hard okay Mm. I just worry how I gonna take that out later on when uh, what is that is it broken is it broken I see something jump up jump out from the hands but I couldn't find it but okay so let's continue and then what next we need to uh, put this
somehow I think we need to press this hands okay it's like that it's already be become shortened and this also I think it's already done and next step is so I'm checking the manual right now but we need to do something of the leg so I think we need to press this leg up okay very scary so I already pushed this leg up and somehow we need to uh, take out the hand so okay so push this leg up and then also uh, the feet area so the hands going to shown up like this okay there is a clicking sound but i really uh, worry when transforming because i think this one is very delicate uh, made from plastic and okay i hope the transformations is uh, quite good and quite stable Okay, so we already have the shape. Next one, what we need to do. I think we need to open this according to the manual. Uh, we need to open this like this and... What we should do, we uh, can press this head down. I'm trying to understand so we take this out and then I think we we should rotate this and after that we need to put this head inside and then take out and rotate the hand okay so let's see whether we can do it easily rotate and how to press down this it's very scary it's half this uh, join i think the join is from chogokin but how to press this down okay i don't want to press the hat okay okay so the cover it's covering i don't want to push this area because i afraid that it's going to broke the join of the neck but up uh, my way is i press this area and then it can go down like this Okay, so you can see it's sliding down. It's not. I I think the transformations of this Dioja is pretty uh, impressive. It's not that easy. It's really a uh, a good work from uh, Chogokin uh, Bandai to make this kind of transformations. It's really cool. And uh, next is we need to I think open this uh, area to open and please be careful it cannot open too much it's only until this degree okay and then what we need to do is we rotate the hands oh 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 it's reverse okay now i understand so this will become the uh, chest area of the robot okay so it's uh, going to look like this really interesting uh, transformations so we already have this area we really rotate and this is the hands and so far we have two parts already this part and this part so let's uh, take a look for the number three robot this is number three robot just like usual we need to take off this backpack and how to do transformations the head area we need to rotate like this it cannot fully flip to the other sides but this is some kind of lock you can see and then after we open this lock we can separate the body become left and right Okay, it's uh, kind of hard. 
okay it's hard is there any any switch okay looks like can be separated hmm it's hard to separate It's hard. So let me take a look how to do this and back. Okay guys, back again. So I already successfully separate this. Uh, basically, there is no special trick. We just need to pull this part left and right together and this kind of join that they have. So on the back and on the middle of here. So I suggest you guys when to separate this, uh, start from the back area and then uh, carefully try to separate like that okay what we need to do next so what we need to do next is for this side we should take off this area and then I think we need to rotate this is it like this okay we need to rotate okay we need to rotate fully just to hide the logo and we need to put this hat inside oh okay so it's really how can i say a really a tight space in here and i even don't know how to take this out later so uh, that's why i think some kind of angatai uh, video is really uh, required uh, to do this to uh, show how we're gonna do and what kind of tips and trick okay so anyhow let's uh, try to uh, check that in the later video but we can mm, I think it's not fully uh, stored inside this hat but yeah, anyhow this kind of I feel like this kind of opening is there so it means that this hat is not really stored inside but now it's already in half half uh, situations that it's uh, kind of hard to take this out right now so I don't know how I'm gonna take this out later but I'm gonna put this just covering it like this and I'm gonna do the other side so the other side I think also the same mechanism uh, we need to take we need to rotate this we need to rotate this just to hide the logo and okay already covered what next so next one is we need to we need to I think we need to push this how to do this okay this area we need to put this inside I think uh, first of all let's do the hands so uh, the hands is okay we can uh, do this kind of we need to uh, fold the hands like this and then I think we should let's try from the other side so the hands will sh do have the positions like that and then we need to make it shorter okay I successfully do it for the left one and we need to slide this down okay basically what I think what we need to do is we need to slide uh, this down uh, and then uh, put the hands inside to this area but uh, let's check how to do that okay so basically this cover we can uh, pull out it's not sliding down so we need to pull out and then uh, oops oh is it broken oh okay luckily it's not so it's a ball joint so I'm gonna uh, try to pull it back okay successfully to pull that back and 
how to do this okay so we can uh, cover this inside so I don't know why but the plastic you can see it's uh, become weird and I don't think when I bought uh, there is this kind of pattern so if you guys know what kind of pattern is this uh, please let me know in the comment sections so okay it's uh, like that and there is a cover on the top we can cover this area and what we should do next oh oh okay i just realized that actually this will be uh okay i thought this area will become the feet of the dioja but actually it's not it reverse so you can see this is the part of dioja feet so it's going to stand like this okay so now i really get the idea let's do for the second one oh, again need to push this inside uh, successfully push inside but need to be carefully uh, to rotate and put the hands inside this area and then uh, cover this okay already done so this will become some kind of the tie of the dioja okay so done okay so i think this already almost done for this transformations i going to do with the fit area first so i gonna uh, try to combine oh it's really nice it's really fit when i put this inside together oh nice uh, join i gonna make it higher camera positions then our uh, next one is to uh, put this upper part body of dioja oh it's not fitting so i have problem that this hands that this hands area is preventing the upper body to get inside left and right so i didn't make this area uh, correctly i think so uh please wait a moment i gonna back with the video i gonna try to fix this area first okay so i really know the problem uh why it doesn't want to uh get inside to the body because i didn't press this area uh, left and right to the inside area more so uh, once if you can see it's already didn't come out from this line okay so uh, let's take a look about this dioja transformations now i hope it successfully get in yes nice nice oh it's really cool i like this i really like this dioja okay let's take a look about the wing as a final part so i think this is where is the wing number one so okay so this one we need to put this inside i think and i think this is the biggest one so uh, next one is uh, this one so let's so let's try to combine oh, oh oops okay so please uh, carefully because please follow the line where the smallest one need to be from the inner side okay so you can take a look how fit is this nice and how about this one okay so it's is it reverse so i don't i don't quite understand how to transform this oh i think we need to uh, take off this wing
and we need to uh, make it in the reverse position so i gonna do that okay now already in reverse positions i just need to oh, how 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 i should do this oh it's wrong so i think need to take this off and then uh, put this back in so it's kind of confusing because top and bottom will be different is it should be like this or it should be like this oh okay so i think i wrongly put the wing again so i need to take off Should be like this also this side and it's going to nicely slide nice it's nicely slide and align can you see that it's really nice to see all of this uh, line up together now it's part where we gonna combine with the dioja okay so this is the part how to do this oops oops okay so we need to align with this leg area okay nice it's a uh, kind of heavy to the back but need to make the positions a bit and voila what else oh actually uh, there is some kind of a uh, detail up of the uh, dioja you can see but actually i think i i gonna do that in the next video but i really stay satisfied even though uh, without anything detailing up from this dioja it's really nice i think it's really a good work uh, from bandai uh, to do this from the chogokin i really like this uh, dioja and also the movement is really nice okay let's, let's uh, take a look and make a pose okay really nice oh nice really satisfying result okay i think that's all guys for this video and then if you like about this dioja i'm gonna make another video about how to detail up this dioja and also the detail for each mecha that co combining become this uh, big day oja okay i think uh, that's all so see you guys in the next video bye bye